Yo, I'm Ray. Hello, I'm Norman. And today we're going to teach you how to escape your house using nothing more than simple household objects. So some of the items that you can be using in order for your grand escape from your crazy mother or whatever is duct tape, a small conventional mirror, boppy pins, We stole this from Mother. Paper. A Sharpie. You can also substitute it for a pen or a pencil. It doesn't really matter. We just prefer Sharpie. Water. Rations. Also, you have to consider the outside elements because you might be leaving in wintertime, so I suggest warm clothes. Hats. Scarves, bringing shoes is also a smart idea because you don't know what it's like outside. Durable shoes, you might be traveling for a while. Yeah, so no open toe sandals. And a bag that you can carry all this in so you're not juggling around. Now you might be thinking, wow, that's not conventional, there's no way we're going to break out of the house with that, but we are going to teach you today how you can also escape the crazy house. You have to carefully consider your strategy when acquiring these items to avoid suspicion. Some key factors you should take into consideration are the time of day and your mama's routine. When considering your mama's routine, think about her schedule, such as when she eats, sleeps, cleans, does the chores, and when she leaves the house. When grabbing all these items, you want to make sure not to be incredibly obvious, even if it is something as simple as water. Because one water bottle compared to 12 water bottles go miss and makes a world of a difference and the person might be paying more attention than you think. You should probably outline your plan of escape. That's what the paper and the marker is for. You also don't want it to be incredibly obvious either in case your mama comes across it and sees you writing, Hi, I'm trying to escape your house, you crazy bitch. Great. Ensure you go over it thoroughly with anyone else who is willing to participate. When planning your route of escape, you want to consider key factors, such as your escape routes. Such an escape routes would include windows and doors. You want to consider if the doors are locked, if the windows are locked, if they are bolted. You want to consider who is looking when and where. Also, if you are in a building that is higher than ground level, you want to consider that jumping out the window might not be conventional unless there are bushes or something else to catch you that's not solid. However, creating rope out of bed sheets and tablecloth could help with escape from high elevation. Again, household objects. You want to use stuff that is easy to come by, but you still want to consider whether it's going to pop up missing and drive suspicion. Suspicion would include taking bed sheets from an already made bed. You'd want to take ones that are left over in a storage closet. When you map out your plan, you want to make sure that it is coherent enough for you to remember what you were trying to put down. So even if you're not making it super obvious, you still want it to be where you can read your code or keywords. Now that we talked about strategy, we also want to take into consideration stealth. You could have the greatest mapped out plan, but if you're not stealthy about it, you'll be caught too easily. Now don't mix that up with athleticism. Yes, it does help if you are good at running and hiding and all that, but if you are stealthy enough, you can be the slowest person in the family and still make a decent escape. Now that you have your strategy and your stealth and your plan down, you can get ready to pack and leave for escape. Again, to uh, highlight key points to make a note of is remember the schedule of your mama or father or whoever you're escaping. Remember their routine. Consider the time of day or night that you're escaping. 
Consider how many people you are escaping with and consider what is the best route of escape, whether that be a window or a door. Um, now the one item that we haven't mentioned yet, what we were going to use it for, is the boppy pins. That is for picking a lock. Now if you do not know how to pick a lock, that is fine. You can practice. Now if you think the front door is going to be too suspicious, you can always try on the bathroom door or a bedroom door. Just make sure that when you are doing this, the person or persons are not watching you because that is an incredibly suspicious activity. Now, with your plan of escape mapped out, and with all the people you are trying to escape with, with your rations, your proper clothing, your shoes, and everything else, you are ready to make your escape. Good luck. Now don't have that mistaken with I carefully consider your strategy when well, nope, one's bad. That it might look suspicious when you're grabbing a whole cake. <laughs> you almost had it. Ah! <laughs> Key factors include your possible oh. You should probably outline your line. Ah! You do think that it's incredibly simple.